Recently, I dove through the internet to find more about the price of pi. The price difference is amazing. From Taiwan to Malaysia, Canada to Korea, United States of America to Nigeria. Most people confuse the value of pi with the price of pi. If you fall in the category of those that are yet to be validated but have submitted their KYC, or those that are yet to see their pi migrated to the wallet after the KYC, I have a message for you, which is official from the Pi Network. I suggest you watch and get the message. Before I continue, I want to state clearly that the core team strongly frowns at the sale of Pi or exchange of Pi at this moment of the mainnet. The transaction period for Pi is officially not allowed, even for those that have completed their KYC and have their Pi migrated to the wallet. Many people are promising to exchange or transfer Pi to others for goods or direct purchase. Once the apps and marketplaces that were designed for this are made available, only then can you engage in any transaction. Please be patient. The only way to authenticate the marketplaces or apps is through the Pi Network browser. This means that apps and marketplaces that have been authorized by the Pi Network and also have direct connectivity with the Pi blockchain can only be accessed through the Pi Network browser. The browser will allow the app to connect seamlessly with your wallet so that payment of items or transactions will be seamless as well. Once you find an item or service that you are interested in, click on the checkout and hit pay with Pi. The app automatically synchronizes with your wallet or will prompt you to connect the wallet to the marketplace. And then the deduction is done and the transaction begins. A very good reason for this is to protect and authenticate both the service provider and the individual requesting the service. Value and demand will command the price of Pi. Many have taken it upon themselves to coin prices for the Pi network and this varies from country to country. The prices you are about to see are not official and in no way connected to the Pi network or the core team. Philippines, $1 to 1 Pi, Taiwan, $21 to 1 Pi, Malaysia, $70 to 1 Pi, Vietnam, $450 to 1 Pi, Korea, $760 to 1 Pi, Canada, $314,159 to 1 Pi, Nigeria, $324,675 to 1 Pi, United States, $1 million to 1 Pi. What I am struggling to understand is how they came about this prices. I believe these are just figures that people wish the price could be. Reality plays an important role alongside facts and theoretical analysis. As much as we want the price to be something that will rock the world and indeed the universe, let us do that within the confirmed reasoning. I would rather advocate for a price than make a spectacle of the whole project. Let's follow facts rather than dreams, so that we don't get disappointed if the price launch is below $1. I gave reasons why I started advocating for $314 to 1 Pi, this was immediately after I found out that the price will be determined by the pioneers and also will be driven by the value. Cryptocurrencies these days are built upon utilities that drive some form of value to them and also give them a price. For those awaiting their KYC validation and those that are yet to get their Pi migrated to the mainnet, this message is for you. Mainnet migration of some pioneers were crawled back for some reasons including the US sanctions, and change of their KYC status due to defected false information. If this is the case, the balance will be migrated again and restored to the wallet without any additional action needed by the pioneer. If the crawback was due to sanctions restrictions of false account information and KYC, their previously passed KYC status will be reverted, then the mainnet eligibility will be reversed and their Pi will not be restored to the wallet until proven otherwise. A lot of Pi pioneers are still wondering if they should sell their Pi coins because the official launch and exchange listings are still a little unclear. The surge in popularity of meme coins, such as Nuff Respect, our sponsor, indicates that the cryptocurrency market has the potential to see sharp price increases. With Nuff Respect, you can get governance rights, staking rewards, and practical applications like buying merchandise and joining a table tennis club. I have included a link to Nuff Respect meme coin in the video description for early access. Given the present trends in meme tokens, now is the best time to make early investments and reap short-term profits. These are important things to think about when choosing what to do with your Pi coins, especially if you are a pioneer trying to sell quickly. You need to consider how much risk you can take. Are you willing to accept that Pi's price may fluctuate? Are you seeking for a rapid return on your investment or something that will grow over time? Before you decide to sell, you must ask yourself this question. Do you think Pi Network can build an approachable and user-friendly cryptocurrency ecosystem? A lot of pioneers will also argue that selling their Pi coin is a grave mistake. If you are optimistic about Pi's future, you might want to hang on to your coins until the exchange listings and open mainnet launch. Nuff Respect is an intriguing option to consider if you are thinking about expanding into meme coins. With real-world use cases, governance rights, and staking rewards planned, 
Nuff Respect hopes to be more than just a passing fad on the internet. Selling your Pi coins is ultimately a personal decision. Think carefully about your overall crypto strategy, investment objectives, and risk tolerance. This is not financial advice. This is just my personal viewpoint. It is imperative to conduct due diligence and comprehend the hazards associated with cryptocurrency investments prior to partaking. Please feel free to leave a comment below the video with your thoughts on selling or keeping your Pi coin. For additional help, click the link in the video's description to join my Telegram group. Be careful of scammers and does posing as me in the comment section. I will never send you a message personally or ask to buy your Pi coin. Be watchful for scammers, they are getting smarter. My name is Tony, and this is Basic Knowledge. Until my next video, keep mining.